Welcome to Redock at Home. My name's Emma. Today we're going to decorate and create a pretty funky artwork on our recycled City Council bin. So for this project we're going to obviously need a blue bin. We'll also need a bucket with soapy water and a cloth to clean down our bin. We'll need some masking tape. We'll need a lead pencil and an eraser. We'll also need some paints. Now, the main paint that we need is a base white paint, which we'll paint over the whole bin. And then the secondary paints, the coloured paints that we need are for the decoration. We will need some sandpaper. And I'm also going to use some Poskas and some Sharpies. If you want to, and you're experienced with using aerosol paints, obviously you can use aerosol paints, but just keep in mind that you'll need uh, the proper incorrect masks and also the gloves, just so that you don't get it everywhere and we look after ourselves. So, there's a couple of rules about um, painting our bin. We are not to ever paint the lid of our bin. We also are just going to paint from here downwards. Um, Council stipulates that we can't paint over the logos or any information on our bins. We can also only paint our blue bin. Okay, so for this exciting project, first we need to clean down our bin. This is a relatively new bin, um, but if it needed a little wash, and this one did need a little bit of a wash, we use a hot soapy water and a cloth. Just give it a little rub down. So we've washed down our bin, we've left it to dry, now we just need to rough up the surface of the bin so that our paint sticks and adheres well and doesn't scratch off. So for that I'm going to use a 400 grit sandpaper and I've got a sandpaper block or you can just use the paper. Um, 400 grit will just give us a nice little grabbing for the paint. So little circular motions over your bin. We've sanded back the surface of our bin just to rough it up a little bit. We've wiped down all the sanded particles so that it's a nice clean surface ready to paint. I just want to get a nice uh, line between uh, the bin and my painting, so I'm going to put a masking tape. Alrighty, now that our bin's been sanded and prepped for painting, we're going to apply our um, white base coat. What I'm going to use is a roller, but you can use aerosol, as I said earlier. Just remember to use your mask appropriate mask and gloves. So I'm just going to use a big roller to get as much coverage as possible. Now that our white base colour has dried, we're going to add some colour, jazz it up a little bit. Okay, now our coloured paintwork has dried. I've been sketching out my idea straight onto the bin with a lead pencil. I'm happy with the design, so now I'm going to outline it in a black Posca pen. Okay, so I've drawn on my design with a Posca pen. I'm going to wait for that to completely dry before I take it out to a well-ventilated area and spray on a clear sealant. A couple of coats of that at a nice uh, distance and just nice and even. Let the first coat dry and then do a second coat of that sealant just to protect your artwork. Last thing we want to do is remove the tape. I'm not going to remove mine yet just because a couple of little bits of paint are still drying. Um, but pull that off and it'll give us a nice edge. Now if you're thinking of entering the competition, please just wait until the entry forms are available as all the categories will be set and it will give you all the competition rules. I hope you enjoy this little workshop today and I hope it's inspired you for your artworks. Adhesive. Adhesive. It's not an adhesive, it's a sealant. Oh, right. Sorry, I'll just keep going. <laughs>